Um, what, what is your point of view on the current state of data encryption, and is that something that, morality aside, should be a standard everywhere? You know, it's interesting. It, it's not that great, and it's getting worse. Because yeah. as you move stuff to the cloud, you lose control of the data. I mean, I might encrypt my data on my network, but I send it up on uh, Dropbox, I send it up on Prezi, I'm using Salesforce.com, yeah. I'm using Google Docs, and my encryption policies now no longer apply in a lot of cases. So I think that's going to even get worse because companies are losing control over their data. It's moving out into other cloud services where you expect the cloud service to process the data. And I can't encrypt my Gmail. If I did, Google couldn't give it to me. Absolutely. Uh, and then I'm assuming most of the email from you, you always would PGP sign it with something. Uh, I don't. You don't. I tend not to. I, I, you uh, know, I assume that email is low security and I treat it that way. And have you ever had, in all the years you've used email, an incident where someone has tried to uh, spoof your email address or spoof inbound to you, where some kind of you know PGP signature, nothing like that has Not ever that happened? That I know. I mean, you know, I get a lot of emails from strangers. Yeah, is sure. It the, is it the right stranger? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I look yeah. at the name. The name means nothing to me. It doesn't have to yeah. be spoofed, sure. right? You know, have people sent email in my name? Not that I know of. Maybe. Has it affected me? No. I think that's true for most people. Fair enough. You know, you, there is email-based fraud, yep. yeah, but most of it isn't spoofed, right? Most of it is someone hacks your computer, grabs your address book, and sends spam to your address book saying, you know, here's an attachment, open it. Right? Yeah. That's the, the attack we normally see. PGP doesn't affect that because it's my computer being used. In fact, it might make it worse because it would be signed. Exactly. Okay, um, and then talk about another one of these silver bullet technologies. A couple years ago, everybody used to talk about DNSSEC as being savior for the internet and safety. I uh, haven't heard much of that in about three years, to be honest. Uh, what's your position on how D DNSSEC may or may not be helpful or yeah, not today? It's going to be helpful. It'll be helpful against lots of different attacks. And yeah. I, when you hear saviors of the internet, be skeptical. When you think important for the health of the internet, that's probably true. Okay. So, no, I mean, there's a lot of work being done on DNSSEC. Uh, DHS has actually funded a bunch of uh, DNSSEC work, which is going to make all of us safer. So no, I'm a big fan of DNSSEC. I like to see it deployed more. There's a lot of work being done in the DNS name system. I, I mean, Jeff Moss is the person to talk to sure, about sure. that, and, and, and he knows a lot more than yep. I do. So and I'm, I'm a fan of it. I think it will make things safer. Is it going to be a silver bullet? Of course not. You know, there are no silver bullets here, and all of us in the industry know that. And then in terms of your own uh, security on the internet and otherwise, what sorts of preventative best practices do you have for yourself that you recommend to friends, family, passerby to say, hey, this is what you should be doing, you well, know, have I mean, for good practice? What I'll recommend, you know, for most uh, important things on the net is a good backup. Sure. Because for, for a lot of people, an attack means they lost their stuff, their family photos, their, their high school papers. What, 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 so good backups are essential. Right? And, and everything else is sort of the stuff you know. Right? A good antivirus program, you know, don't go on the net without it. And then, you know, the next thing, and this is a harder one, is a good bullshit detector. You know, a lot of the reasons we're safe, you know, we in this community, is because we know what a fake deal looks like. We know what a spoofed email looks like. We know what a fake website looks like. And a lot of people who are taken is because they don't really know that the better bullshit detector you have, the better you'll do. Right, so it's basic hygiene plus paying attention. You know, that's really what I recommend. And not to put words in your mouth, but is there a, a better brand of operating system, better brand of browser, or really it doesn't matter? My feeling is they're all equally mediocre. Okay. Right, you know, people ask me yeah. what, what brand of antivirus. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. What brand of OS? You know, the, you're going to buy your OS for non-security reasons, and that's okay. Yeah. You know, I use oh, I use Windows. My wife uses uses Macintosh. I have lots of friends who use Linux. I mean, sure, we can argue there. This is safer. That is safer. In the main, if you're taking basic hygiene uh, seriously, I think they're all basically the same. You know, which phone you buy? You know, buy the phone you like. Yeah. And this is true for most things in the real world. We tend not to make decisions based on security. We make them based on other things. I think that's okay on the net, too. Good. Uh, and then